Hey there. Welcome to 3.1 Lines of Symmetry. I am making this uh, because I needed an update to my old video for number 26 on page 134. Um, this is a new style of problem where we have to figure out, you know, is this X symmetrical to the X axis, Y axis, and then these two lines, Y equals X and Y equals negative X, to see if they're... Uh, symmetric or not to that so I have this thing here which is a complicated looking problem and uh, let me show you how to do it first thing you, we are going to be putting this in the calculator but your calculator is dependent on you solving this for X or for Y rather for Y so what we're going to do since it says Y squared is go ahead and square root both sides and then what happens when you square root y squared is you get y and this is what your calculator needs but on the right side of that you're going to have plus or minus the square root of 4 x squared over 9 minus 4 and this square root symbol covers that whole thing there like that and then an alternative way of writing this which I'm also going to show you and, and do just to make it easier to type in your calculator, is instead of saying 4x squared over 9, let's make it 4 ninths x squared minus 4, because those are the same thing. And if you didn't know that, well, now you do. 4 ninths x squared minus 4. But here's the thing. A TI-84, which is the calculators we use, will not allow you least to my knowledge to type in plus and minus in one shot and it graphed both of them because remember this is two answers there's two answers to that right there so what we have to type in is y equals the square root of four ninths x squared minus four and this uh let's make it green and y equals negative square root of four ninths x squared minus four so we got to do the plus and the minus to that the plus and the minus so what i have here running in the background is my ti emulator and hopefully you can still see that let me do that again there we go and now i'm going to put the pin down do this all with the keyboard so we're going to try to type in carefully this this function so we're going to go Here's the square root symbol. So we go second square root. And mine might look slightly different than yours because this is a 84 plus C and ours is uh, different, but it's the same concept. We're going to type in uh, parenthesis four ninths and then x squared. If I remember right, four ninths x squared, and then is it minus four? Is that what it was, or plus four? Minus four. And let's just graph that and see what we got. Okay, let's take a look at that. So it's rendering this, and what we're looking at is half of the picture so it's too early to start going down my checklist of yes or no so we come back and now we have to put the other half in there so we go down one and we type in negative and make sure you use this the button below the three so it's negative parenthesis four ninths x squared minus four And I forgot the square root button, didn't I? Let's do that over. Let's just start over. So negative square root, parenthesis, four ninths x squared minus four. And let's graph that. And it should show up in a different color. And there we go. So now what we have is both sides of it okay so we're generating this picture right here and uh, if I come back to my image and you see that 
I have something that, you know, kind of looks like this and it's kind of coming down here like this and, and coming down over here like that. So the question is, does this have X axis symmetry? Is it foldable and creasable on the X axis right here? And it would be, you could crease it right there. It would be the same on both sides. So that we say, yes. How about the Y axis? Would this fold this way and crease it? If you drew that on paper, could I crease it on that line? Absolutely true. Absolutely yes. But here's the one and the reason I'm making this video because most people, even when they see the line on there, they would say yes to this. Let me go back to this. And I had you guys program in these other lines of symmetry. Let's just turn one of them on. So we'll come down, we'll arrow down to this right here and select that equal sign thus turning it on. And if you're absent and you don't have that on your calculator, you need to make your screen look exactly like that and try it out. So now when I hit the graph button, we're going to have this line of symmetry on there. And the question is, is that symmetrical? And I bet you most people would say, yes, it is. And it's not, it is definitely not because even though I got blue here, I have blue here to be symmetrical, it would be up here. So let me go back and see if I can draw this in. So just take me a second probably to do this. And I think it'll make a lot more sense. Um, like so. And then if I had the original, I'm just kind of sketching something like that. And then if I put a purple line of symmetry on there, something like that, the question is, is this the same? And it isn't, it is totally not the same because this would have to appear up here. See, as if, as if this purple line was like water reflecting in a pool, this would have to come up like so. And actually, if I got fancy on this, I can actually rotate this. And you can see that if this is the water line here, I can't do this with on the board. I mean, that's fantastic. If this is the water line, this has to be reflected right above it like that. It's got to be a mirror image. And you can see that this, this would be a mirror image here. And hopefully that made sense. Um, I turn it back. And you can see that this would be a no. So if I wanted to answer that tough question as if, is this symmetrical? This would be no. And this would also be no. And thanks for listening. And you probably need to go back and watch that again. I will talk to you later.